We're with Anthony Sharanzi, one of the 16 returning players to the Eastern men's lacrosse team. Eastern getting ready for its 2019 season opener against Gordon on March 2nd at the Mansfield Outdoor Complex. Anthony, you've been with the program for a couple years. Uh, how has preseason gone this year? It's going well. We have a small group of guys, but we're working hard day in, day out just to get better. And we're looking to get to get the game day. Has, I, I would have to think that after a while, preseason gets to be sort of old, and you're really want to like let's let's get this thing going. Yeah, right? yeah, definitely. We're really hungry to play. I mean, with a small group, we can't always scrimmage full field. So, at our uh, two scrimmages against Dean and Emerson, it was it was good to finally see two teams and see some diff different blood. Did you play full field at Emerson? Yeah, you yep. did. You know, some years you get outside only a couple times before the season starts. Some years you get out a lot. What was mm -hmm. it this year? Was it like 50-50 for getting outside and being in the gym? Uh, no, we had, a, we had a good amount of t opportunities to go outside. Um, we were in the gym probably four or five times, but we didn't really let us hold, it, hold us back. We conditioned. We'd bring in the nets there and would shoot, and we basically got everything done that we needed to. Worked on X's and O's. Didn't hold us back. Well, you got a new coach with Mark Graham. Um, what have been the differences in preseason in terms of maybe what the demands are of the players this year as maybe as compared to maybe what they were in the last few years? Um, I mean, there's definitely a lot more structure, whether that be in the classroom or out of the classroom. Um, we have mandated study hours, and uh, we're expected to be in the gym at least three times a week. And he tracks us. He tracks that. We have an Excel sheet with what we're doing day in day out of our schedule. So it's been it's been more structured, but it's it's good. I think it's good for the guys. When and you say in the gym, do you mean in the in the uh, in the um, weight room training room? Yeah, yeah. Weightlifting yeah. Room. Mm -hmm. Is that been is that been a aspect of the program this year that's been emphasized that you got to get in there, you got to get bigger, yeah, you got to get stronger? Yeah, definitely emphasized this year. Like like I said, with the small group, everybody needs to be in shape and be resilient. Um, we got to last four quarters, so you got to be. You got to be in shape. You got to be strong. How about the How about the conditioning itself at practice? Is that different this year than it was in previous years? Yeah, yeah. We have GBT. It's uh, get better time. So it's built in. We have a practice plan every day, and that's just the section where we got to get better. We got to whether that's sprints. We call them Alabamas. You sprint down the field, jog back in 60 seconds. We try to do six of those. We'll do other various types of running, just to just to be in shape. Do you? Is it going to be a learning process uh, for the players this year in terms of a new system with Coach Graham, or is it sort of somewhat similar to what you've had here the last few years? Um, it's a little different. He's done a good job laying it out and showing it to us, but I think it's a lot more team play. The offense is operating as a whole, as it was a little more one-on-one -on -one oriented last year. Just kind of find a man, find a weak link, dodge, beat him, score. It's more team play. Well, you, you played mostly midfield, if I remember correctly, last year, but you might, will your role change this year? Yeah, definitely I need to pick up more of the offensive slack this year. I was more of a transition D midi last year, but um, I'm going to be playing both offense and defense, so I definitely got to be in shape, so the conditioning has been helping me. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. In, in, your, in your role, it definitely would be important. Mm -hmm. Who else? I mean, you lost your top three scorers from last year. You have mm -hmm. Matt Rougeau back, who was your... Yeah one of your top scorers. Uh, will it be, who do you see as maybe, in addition to yourself, who else may have to help pick up some of that slack? Um, I think Brett Chin will do a good job. Mm -hmm. uh, he got moved to attack because he's one of our only lefties, so we're putting him on the left attack. And our, also a freshman, uh, Garrett Lampham. Mm -hmm. He's been looking really promising in our scrimmages and in practice. He works hard and put the ball in the back of the net. Do you do you see do you feel that the offense will be able to carry its own weight? In other words, will they be able to get this team enough goals? Yeah, I definitely think so. After the scrimmages, we really hit the whiteboard. We watched film, and we just saw what, what we were doing wrong and what we needed to improve on. It's just little details that are just why a goal wasn't there or why we weren't finishing. But I think I think the offense will definitely be able to hold up their their part of the, the slack for the team. Would you say it's more it's being in terms of? Preparing for games is it more analytical this year in terms of watching more film and stuff like that or no? Um, I mean we watched film last year, but I like now with the film he, he comments and almost like shows where you should be or will we'll, like pause and he'll show like a little footnote of Tony you shouldn't be there you shouldn't be coming there or just anybody where you need to be in that spot instead of where they were 
Is Coach is is Coach uh, Graham really uh, an X's and O's kind of guy? Yeah, uh, kind of. But he, I mean, we, we work it out in the field too. Uh, he's not he's detailed, but I, I like the style of just learning it by playing it. But I mean, the X's and O's are obviously important for the details of the game. Two other areas, Anthony, that are key. Uh, we talked about the offense. Two key areas where you're sort of rebuilding at is both face-off position where you lost your top two guys and the goalie position where you lost your top two guys. Um, who's going to step in at face-off? Face-off, we have Tyler Stein. Uh, he's a good buddy of mine. He's, he's going he's gonna to fill the role nice. I'm very confident in him. Um, and we also, one of our coaches, Coach Rack, he's, uh, he's in the MLL. He's a, he's a face-off guy there, so he's been giving him a lot of pointers. And I think he looks good. Well, Tyler saw it sometime last year. Yeah, he, he and when he was in, up. he did well. Yeah. Yeah. Is that, do you see the uh, Coach Graham alternating his face-off guys, or do you see maybe Tyler taking like 80, 90 percent? I think Tyler will take a majority, but we also have Mike Parker and Evan Mao, uh, mm -hmm. one of our polls, who could, who could step in and do the job if Tyler's uh, tired or hurt. But I think Tyler mainly will be our, will be our guy to go to. Hopefully he'll, hopefully he'll stay healthy. Yeah. Because I think a couple of our guys had, had yeah, he's got issues. Yeah, so, yeah. And the face-off stuff, you know, they yeah. hurt themselves a lot. But. Well, that's when you go back to talking about um, uh, strength and conditioning and being uh, uh, being conditioned, I would think in the face-off area that would be a big part of it. Just yeah. the strength Yeah, aspect. just being resilient. Yeah. yeah. How, about, how about in the goal? You lost a couple of goalies. you got a couple of guys that have potential, but they haven't had a whole lot of experience. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, we have John Funk and Jack Farrell. I'm fairly confident in both of them to fill the role. We lost our two top guys, but these guys look really good. They're getting a lot of reps in practice, and they've really showed out in the scrimmages. I don't think it's going to be a downfall or a setback for us. They probably just have to get that first start under their belt yeah. in the goal and get yeah. comfortable. Yeah, it might be a little, little, little nerve-wracking, but I think I think they, they've been there. They've played, played the game yeah. enough. It's, once they get in the net, get a quarter under their belt. They'll be like home to them. Just because you haven't really started in college doesn't necessarily mean anything. You guys play a lot of summer ball and stuff, and I'm sure yeah, they're, they're exactly. playing on teams. Exactly. Do you? Um, we've talked a lot about uh, a small squad size, about 23 players, and there is negatives associated with that in terms of you don't have a lot of depth. You got to be in really top condition. But talk about the maybe the positive aspects of having a small, tight-knit group. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're a small, tight-knit group, so we all got each other's back. Um, we're, th we're there for each other every day. I mean, we got a small group. You got to stay healthy, and you're talking to the same guys every day. Uh, yeah. You know, that's just it's it's good. I mean, it, it is. It's not good in some aspects, but yeah. in that tight-knit way, it is. Uh, last question, Anthony. Um, you guys are just a few days away from your season opener. Are you looking at it and saying, I think we're ready to go, or do you think that, hey, we probably could use a little more time to work on this and this? No, I think we're ready to go. I mean, we got these last couple of days to really like harp on the details that we need to do better on, but I think after the two scrimmages, looking over film, we really, need, we really know where we need to go next to get to that next level to be ready for game day. But I think I'm fairly confident that we're ready to go. Good. So as we said, the Warriors are going to open up on Saturday, March 2nd. They're going to be at the Mansfield Complex, and they are going to be taking on Gordon College. That will be a non-conference game. Uh, Eastern will open up its conference season against Plymouth State. That will be on March 23rd at 3 o'clock at the Mansfield Complex. Anthony, thank you for being here, and good luck this year. All right. Thank you.